Welcome back. Our next guests are here to celebrate 150 years of the YWCA. Since its proud inception at the end of the Civil War as a women's club to help others, it's worked from the start to empower women and girls, promote fairness and equality, and challenge racial and social injustice. The Y took off during the Industrial Revolution when young women flocked to Pittsburgh looking for jobs and often found themselves in unsafe conditions. The YWCA purchased its first home in Pittsburgh to provide affordable, clean conditions conditions for women, along with cooking classes, job training, fitness, and recreational programs. Soon, other homes around the city were also purchased, and today the YWCA continues its mission to empower women and eliminate racism through advocacy and local programming. And here to tell us how the Y is celebrating 150 years of that mission with a big gala, our YWCA CA, CEO, Maggie Jensen, a lot of letters there, <laughs> Sylvia Winston. <laughs> The YW Young Leaders and member of the Gala Committee, Betsy Tatesy. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having us. So, so much going on. And first of all, I mean, congratulations for holding strong for so long and helping so many women and young girls. I mean, just inc it's incredible. It is incredible. An incredible history. So tell us how you guys are celebrating the big 150 milestone. <laughs> Well, we're just so excited. Um, we will be celebrating on Friday, April 13th at the Wyndham Grand Hotel and our featured speaker, it's a celebratory dinner, and our featured speaker, speaker is Dr. Jill Biden. And we are so excited so to welcome exciting. her. Yes. Yeah, I, when I saw that, I was just blown away. And, I, and you said already so many tickets have been sold. We're well over 400 and hoping for many more. So <laughs> we're very excited about that. So tell me where the YW is at this point right now. What, what are the missions? What are you trying to accomplish? How are you helping? The mission of the YWCA is to eliminate racism, empower women, and promote peace, justice, and freedom for all. So uh, on our logo, you see eliminating racism, empowering women. We've been here since 1867 and um, worked with women uh, to help empower them during the Industrial Revolution mm -hmm. every decade. We would change and be flexible to meet the needs of the community. In 1945, we were one of the first associations in the nation to formally. Um, and then we extended our lens of um, civil rights from gender to, to everyone. Yeah. I mean, let's be honest, though, ladies. A lot has changed and for the better, but there is still work to be done in, in those categories. So true. Yeah. So true. No question about it. <laughs> and um, I know that you were working with a lot of the young girls. Mm -hmm. there's, there's a big push for STEM. We want to get those girls into those programs and really taking advantage of their true potential. Yeah, and the YW does some great programming. They have a STEM program in approximately 20 different middle schools in the Pittsburgh area. I'm on the Young Leaders Board, and it's a group of 14 to 15, 20 to 35-year-old women who are just here to support the YW and their mission. Um, in honor of the 150th anniversary, last October, we did a Wikipedia edit-a-thon where we concentrated on adding Pittsburgh women who basically exemplify the mission of the YW. And it was just a great turnout, a great event. We had the now mayor of um, Wilkinsburg there, Marita Garrett, who was a former board member as well so we've been doing some great things. What's interesting is that the young leaders knew that only 15 percent of the editors on Wikipedia are women really? so it had a dual dual focus. Right yeah and um, what are you hearing from some of the women and the young girls who seek help and assistance guidance from the YW? We actually have four housing programs um, and we focus on uh, low-income homeless families. We also have uh, the middle school program in 20, 20 middle schools, two high schools. There are after-school programs for science, technology, engineering, and math, specifically for girls. Uh, the Women's Resource Center, actually it's a resource center for everyone, can help folks in transition if they need legal help, if they need to get back in the workforce. Mm -hmm. And we have a community uh, center in Homewood that has a four star, which is the highest rating early learning center for children and uh, for three to five year olds, pre-K counts. So we have um, social services across the board and we also are involved in advocacy um, in, through the Center for uh, Race and Gender Equity. I would say that over the 150 years, we've had a dual focus of social services, 
but at the same time social action to try and change or influence the factors that lead to the need for those mm -hmm. services. That's great stuff. I mean, really fantastic work. Um, if, if you don't mind, uh, I know that we talked a little bit about Jill Biden coming, mm -hmm. about the gala itself. What can people expect if they want to if they want to come check it out, buy a ticket to the event? It is a dinner. Okay. We really wanted to focus on her message and the way in many ways much of what she does uh, is reflected in the mission mm -hmm. of the YWCA. So it's an evening we hope to really celebrate the accomplishments of women, to celebrate the good work the YWCA has done over 150 years, and um, to, to, to celebrate the Pittsburgh community. So that's what people can expect, a lovely dinner and a wonderful, inspiring um, speech. Well, cool. thank you, ladies, for joining us this morning and inspiring us and people at home, I hope. And you can come celebrate the YWCA's 150th anniversary at the gala with Dr. Jill Biden. Again, it's on Friday, April 13th at the Wyndham Grand in downtown Pittsburgh. You can get tickets and more details. We'll have it all posted for you at kdka.com slash PTL.